Welcome to another episode of Weld.com Inductance. What is it? What's it do? I want to keep it real simple because it can be pretty confusing. Basically, inductance is our control. It's a, it's a feature where you can really kind of fine tune your gas metal arc welding, MIG welding. Uh, think of it this way, just in real simple terms. No inductance, hard, crispy, sharp weld pool. 100% inductance wet fluid buttery type weld pool it has an effect on the weld pool and the delivery of the metal transfer so i want to go through some settings show how we set the machine do some sample welds hopefully this will make sense um, again when i see it you know i can tell it visually and definitely by sound and everything and i use it in various configurations on projects and stuff so let's set a machine up and go through some of these settings so the first thing I want to do, uh, I'm going to run all these welds on the same voltage, same wire feed speed. I don't want to change any of that. The only thing I want to change is inductance. So the first thing I want to do from this home menu is go up here to parameters. And right now it's set at 35%. To me, I would consider 35%. I'd just kind of leave it alone for all general purpose welding. And the reason I say that is, um, that to me is a really good condition and it's pretty versatile. Uh, root passes on plate, pipe, uh, it delivers a really nice arc. It freezes well, not a lot of hard spatter. And then we would take this, I, I wanna demonstrate going just down to zero. And I also wanna go clear up to 100%. And I'm, hopefully we can, you can hear this and see it because it does make a definite difference. So the first thing I want to do is go back down here to 35% and do a couple of fillet welds for you. This first weld I'm making is just a you know, normal fillet weld. Very small circle. This is the sound that I'm very familiar with. Not a lot of heavy pop, normal amount of spatter. Normal bead profile to me, looks a little cold over here. But this is, uh, you know, the, the dispersion of the silicon along the edges and everything and the normal crown. So that's at 35% inductance. So now I wanna take the machine and turn it down to zero inductance. And what I expect to hear, a couple of things, what I expect to see in here, one of them is it's going to sound sharper, a harder arc, more crispy sound, and it's also, I expect to see a little more crown, a little more peakedness in the bead. This weld is a lot, it just, it just sounds a little harder and crispier. Still a good short arc condition. Trying to use the exact same motion I did before. A little more hard spatter. Uh, definitely got a little more peaked that profile to it, you can kind of tell along this edge here, on the bottom, this thing crowns up, makes a ridge in the center. Again, subtle, but it's there. I noticed it more in sound. You know, while you're welding, or while I'm welding, I don't really, I see it a little bit, but I, I notice more in the sound, and then when I raise my hood up, I can really kind of see it. Again, more hard spatter, and a peaked profile with zero inductance. Now I want to turn the machine up to 100% inductance. And what we should see is uh, the bead profile should lay down a, just a bit flatter and the sound of it should be a little softer, uh, smoother sounding. While we're welding, we should probably notice it being uh, a little buttery on the edges and this profile is not going to be peaked, shouldn't be peaked more wetting action into the parent metal. This 
This to me sounds really super smooth. I'm also noticing a lot smaller sparks come off of here. I noticed a lot smaller spark coming off here. I don't see any hard spatter on the material. And I also noticed the bead profile to be uh, laid down here. No peak, uh, hard peak in the middle of it, so it kind of blended in better. The toes of the weld look better to me. <clears throat> Again, subtle, but it's there. You know, it's a feature and we use it for fine tuning the machine and fine tuning the, uh, the, uh, the uh, metal transfer. What, what do we want this to do? Okay, um, you know, there's a couple of subtle differences here. The one with zero inductance. I noticed it was hard, crispy, sharp. The profile became a bit peaked. The ones with 35% and even 100% were much more visually appealing to me. They sounded better. Uh, you know, one thing to note is this has, inductance has minimal effect on depth of depth of fusion and penetration. So don't think of it as something that's going to be a magical, you know, adjusting knob where you can drive the weld into the throat of a fillet weld or something. Another thing to note is, you know, if you if you've got a hundred percent inductance and your weld pool is more fluid, it's going to sag. That may affect uh, like groove welding where you do fill passes in your cap. Uh, I don't personally use you know, I, I kind of default to that 35% because I want the weld pool to freeze. The spatter, because of my gun angle, I keep mine pretty straight in. So I can control that profile and that reinforcement when I come out of a groove on plate or pipe. Uh, you know, fillet welds, you know, we want them to blend in. We want them to have a nice uh, profile. And we want the toe of the weld to wet into the parent metal. So zero inductance, hard, sharp, crispy arc hard spatter. A hundred percent inductance, soft, buttery, smooth art. And you know, my, you know, the default anywhere in that 30 to 50 percent range depends on what you want your weld pool to do. And you know, if you're doing outside corner joints, you want them to blend, you want them to be nice and round, maybe that 50 percent mode might be your ticket. Anyway, the feature is there on the machine and, and it's a cool feature and it does make a difference, but it's, we're not saying that it's a drastic difference. Not going to, you know, it's not going to be the magical fix, you know, between any number zero to a hundred, not going to drive an arc, drive the weld pool into a joint. So I hope you found this educational. Please subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook as well. Thanks for watching weld.com. Huh? Follow us. Oh my God. No, no, no. Subscribe to the channel. What was that about? What were you doing there? Those are bad shots. Hit the subscribe button because you know how to use it. No more questions for you. <laughs>